Alright, I'm getting ready to mount the gas tank on this uh, truck here. Went ahead a few days ago. Got the brackets mounted. Now I've got them halfway cleaned up. A few little pieces there. I got a little piece there. I got to get off there. Taking a scraper and scraping this uh, anti squeak. rest of it off there. I've got some new anti-squeak pads going so I ain't too worried about maybe all this little, little loose rust off. I'll get ready to put some rust encapsulator on it. Air hose. Blow this stuff off. Pretty clean. I'm brushing this stuff on so I ain't worrying about it being really clean. But uh, it's just a matter of getting a good coat of rust encapsulator on. Was going to use this uh, gas tank I had cleaned up, but uh, for a hundred bucks, order me a new one. Just cheap insurance. I know there was some rust, uh, surface rust left inside that one, and it, to me, it just ain't worth uh, taking a chance of messing up my fuel system. So I'll go ahead and put the new one on. So now it's just a matter of getting this painted, getting it dried. I'll fix this up somewhere. I don't know. I ain't got a stand for this camera no more. Find a place to put it might be an issue. And you can spray this stuff. Uh, you have to bend it out a good bit before it's sprayed. I have sprayed it. I just let brush it because it's not really going to show. And I know I'm getting a good thick coat on it. My brushing, I'm using it just a cheap comb brush. Because I don't like cleaning brushes. Maybe I can just use one time and throw them away. I feel like I've really wasted money by buying a real nice paintbrush and clean it. This is an area that I want you to put your gas tank on. You'll never think about it again. And it had a good bit of surface rust on it. So I don't want to have to think about it again. So put this stuff on here. I might give it a, once this is dry, it don't take long for it to dry. I'll give it a good coat of chassis black. And uh, I don't have to worry about it no more. So. And all the crevices is good. Kind of where this foam brush comes in handy, getting around all these nuts and ropes. I also use this foam brush on my frame over here on this side. I think I sprayed the other side, but I didn't thin it out too good. So I put it in the gun and it didn't spray too good. band a good coat of rust. These bands is the ones that are rust in two weeks. And then you got issues. And I was going to replace these straps. But uh, the way they're made on, they ribbed it on to the bracket. And the replacement straps didn't look like these. So elected not to replace them. So anyway, let you see how it goes on. Got a good coating over everything all the way up to the end of that. Down. I'll probably go back once I get my tank on. Give this a good coat. 
and I'm going to go ahead and get that painted and we'll let it dry. Okay, so it's been about an hour or so since I painted and I've already uh, spray painted the chassis black. I got my anti-squeak pads, which is nothing more than felt paper. Yeah. It's probably cheaper just make your own, just go buy a roll of roofing felt. It's a little bit thicker than normal roofing felt, but you could probably do it out of that. And my new gas tank. Also went ahead and figured out where this gas line was supposed to run. I like never figured that thing out, but it goes on the outside of the frame with three bolts holding it on. And thankfully, I left the bolts in the frame. If not, I would never figure it out. Well, I was trying to put it on the inside of the frame. So, get her anti squeak. Two pieces, we got the little pieces and the big pieces. Yeah, after a little bit of metal working, I had to bend this, bend this flange in a little bit to get more clearance. End up cutting a piece off when I did that, but still was able to get this uh, nut started here. So now we're ready to tighten them up. And it's just a matter of getting a wrench in there. Now I got my wrench and I tighten this up pretty good. I didn't get a whole lot on there, I just got just enough through that nut. You can see the old one went all the way back to here. Uh, and I suppose I could probably put an impact, if I, if I took the mounts off, I could get behind there with an impact. I could really tighten them up. This thing, it, it seems to be pretty tight already. They just don't see no reason to bend the heck out of it. I'm kind of impressed with this tank though. It's a, it cost me a hundred bucks for shipping and everything off eBay. I can't remember who I bought it from, but it was uh, one of those major car park places. But it looks like it's got a pretty good coating on it. Instead of just being bare metal, it's definitely got a good paint job. So now all I gotta do is get the sin unit cleaned up, put in there. This comes with a new lock and ring and gasket, so just a matter of putting it in there and hooking everything up. That part will be done and next part's gonna be wiring the engine or rewiring some parts. And yeah, we'll save that for another video. Take care, guys.